Lot number 201 is a 2009 Ford F350 utility bed crane truck. I've had it running for 40 minutes at idle. Motor's pretty quiet for being a diesel. Running nice and smooth. AC is ice cold. This unit has low miles. Let me show you the engine. It's a Power Stroke V8 turbo diesel. Sounds really good. I want to show you the damage on the passenger side fender and hood. As you can see, the fender is dented, the bumper is dented, but the frame is intact, it was not affected. And the hood is dented. When I close the hood, you'll see what I mean. But as you can see, the frame of the body is good underneath. So it's just the actual outer shell of the fender that got affected. It looks worse than what it is. It's mainly the hood and also the fender damage. That's pretty much it. All right, let me show you the rest of the truck. The rest of the body is straight. The utility, man, is good. The door is nice, no dents. The decals were professionally removed. The cab looks good. The utility bed is an auto crane. It's got dual diesel fuel tanks. The tires are really nice. It's got good gears with a lot of thread. I'll show you the body first and everything else before I show you the inside. It's got stabilizers. It's got a heavy duty hitch with a rear view camera. It's got the Linex bed covering. It's got a diamond plated steel bed. It's in decent shape. And here's the Stellar 4420. This unit was operational before this equipment was retired. So uh, there are no known, no, no, no known issues on it. And it appears to be in good looking shape. The cable looks really fresh. It's good. I did notice some rust on the tip. Surface rust. Right there. That beam extends outward. I shot a picture of the diagram. You'll see it. It does have a remote control. A wireless remote control right here see the magnet it sticks onto the wall okay goes right there I did notice inside the shelving this is the hydraulic tank that fuels the lines fills the lines yeah I did notice some rust inside the cabinets the utility bed looks good on the outside but there's a few compartments that have rust inside these are good over here. It's the two rear ones which are the worst. It has a nice lock locking mechanism. You can just put a regular small lock here and it locks it up. They all open and close properly. As you can see, the body is straight. This is the worst one, which I can see through, through the ground. So there's a piece of wood here. So that means it's rusted. So you can repair this particular spot. The rest looks good. It's 
got the pull out, the pull out drawer. Okay, let me show you this. And this one, I took some pictures of it, also has some rust, surface rust, rust, whatever you want to call it, also. All right, so let me show you the inside. Door panels look good. The dash is nice. It's got the rear view camera, which is on right now for the hitch. The door panel on the passenger side looks nice. The headliner looks good. The seat is nice. No rips or tears. A dark brown color. It's got only 62,000 miles. I'll rev it up for you so you can hear it. Motor sounds great. It's got two fuel tanks. I'm gonna flip the switch. The switch is right over here, right there. AC is ice cold right now. I'm gonna flip the switch so you can see. That tank is full, and this one says it's three quarter full. So it's a lot of diesel fuel there. All right, all the gauges look good. No check engine light, no warning lights. Here's the connection for the PTO system. Let me see if it, there, it's on. I hear it. All right. And uh, here's the steering wheel. It's brittle, it's eaten up. It was taped up with black tape. This unit has cruise control and uh, manual windows. All right, good looking truck, no doubt. It's got potential. Just need to fix the little damage over here. And uh, listen how quiet it is. Very nice and quiet. All righty, well, good luck.